Audi A3 2.0T Cabriolet. The version for grown-ups. When we recently reviewed the 2015 Audi A3 1.8T Cabriolet, we concluded that its leather line, fashionably extroverted, dynamically adequate package made it the spiritual successor to the VW Cabriolets and E30 BMW 3 Series convertibles that roamed college campuses at the behest of well-heeled co-eds through the late 1980s and early 90s. We've now strapped our test gear to the more powerful 2.0T version and discovered a slightly more grown-up side of the handsome drop-top. Consider this the post-graduation A3 Cabriolet. The key differentiators between the two automobiles are 186 cubic centimeters of displacement, a not insignificant 50 horsepower and 58 pounds to foot of torque, all-wheel traction, and $3,000 in price. Both cars were equipped with the Premium Plus package, exactly the same wheels and tires, the sportiest suspension, and Audi's lovely six-speed S-Tronic dual-clutch automatic. Along with the stronger engine comes standard Quattro all-wheel drive, and thus equipped. The A3 2.0T cab feels more like a car for a grown-up, less sorority girl and more graduated professional. The Sport tuned suspension, part of the $800 Sport package, is taut and the steering is wonderfully tactile, but 250 pounds of additional weight and all-season tires that felt slippery on the road played a role in reducing grip levels. The 3,634 lb 2.0T returned a Toyota Corolla-like cornering figure of 0.82 grams, 0.04 lower than the 1.8T, before sliding off its line with mild understeer. The car's braking performance was okay, at 174 feet, but that's 8 feet longer than its siblings. Although the Cabriolet is nearly 300 pounds heavier than the 2015 A3 2.0T sedan we tested, the drop-top's chassis is set up more or less the same. We think that fitting the A3 sedan's Continental Condi Sport Contact summer tires would do wonders to liven up the drop-top driving experience. The four-door stopped 18 feet shorter and pulled a seriously impressive 0.94 grams on the skid pad. The primary reason to spend the extra coin on the 2.0T, of course, is to have a quicker car than the 1.8T. And the stronger mill does not disappoint, slashing the 0 to 60 mile per hour run by a second and a half to 5.7 seconds, just 0.3 off the pace of the 2.0T sedan, with a big hat tip given, of course, to the additional launch traction afforded by the AWD system. As always, Audi's six-speed dual-clutch automatic is fantastic, and the sport package's drive select controls allow you to liven up the throttle response and add heft to the steering, either in concert with more aggressive transmission calibrations or individually. In other regards, the A3 2.0T Cabriolet remains as eminently enjoyable as the 1.8, one that gets even lovelier when the temperatures are affluent.